What is going on, guys? This is Patty, and I'm here with my very, very uh, homoerotic friend, Matt. Going on? Shut up, Matt. Fuck you. But we were just sitting here talking about uh, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Ravensoft, or more importantly, the Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer duo, and what their next move is going to be. Now, as you guys know, if you've played Modern Warfare 3, this game sucks. Absolutely. Compared to Modern Warfare 2, but I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is a little bit better. Not much better, but a little tiny smidgeny bit better. Yeah, it was actually somewhat good compared to this pile of fucking. Well, shit. I mean, if they if if they if they fix the lag compensation or Modern Warfare 2 would probably be better. Yeah. Anyways, so if we if we backtrack here, right? We have we'll start at COD 4. COD 4. Best COD ever made. World at War, not as good, but it still had that COD 4 feeling to it. Modern Warfare 2, terrible. Black Ops, good. Very good. Modern Warfare 3, terrible. So now, November, we're going to have Black Ops 2. It's not officially announced yet, but it's more than likely going to be called Black Ops 2. And we all know Treyarch listens to their community. They don't bullshit us. They don't basically screw over... Like the better the average or the better than average players for the new players, like Mono for Three did, with um, like the Type ninety five being like a low level gun and being able to get it early, like they did in Mono for Two with one man army noob tubes and all that jazz. So Matt, what's your opinion on all this stuff? Um, honestly, uh, I'm really looking forward to the new Black Ops, <clears throat> and like yeah, like I agree with. With most of you, with, mo with um, most of the stuff you said, and yeah, fuck you. And like, I, I kind of hope in the new, bla in the new Black Ops, they, uh, they kind of like look at Modern Warfare Three like where they failed, but they did have like a few good things, like specialists, stuff like that. Yeah, well, from from what was leaked off of. Uh, the Activision forums, which was then put onto G4 TV before it was taken down, which I've done a video on. If you haven't seen the video, be, it'll be up in the annotation somewhere. You can check that out. But they've said that that they're they're keeping specialists. They're keeping, but they're redoing specialists to where instead of getting all your perks at eight, it's either you won't, you get to pick four at four perks, and you know two kills, four kills, six kills, eight kills, so you get a total of seven perks. Or it'll go like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, blah, 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 until you get all the perks. That's not, that's, I'm assuming it stops at eight and you only get a, a total of seven perks, but. Yeah. And then they're, they're keeping the whole point streak system as well and they're adding, they're adding extra points onto playing the objective. So like a bomb plant is two, a flag cap is one, a neutral flag cap is two, etc. Yeah. But there's there's things in Modern Warfare 3 that they had in Black Ops that they broke, like theater, like the like the leaderboards, like the scoreboards, and things yeah. of that nature. But let's look at let, let's look at a year from this November when the when when we have a new Call of Duty, and we know we're gonna have a new Call of Duty because the franchise is worth so much. It's it's already been said that there's not gonna be another Modern Warfare because I I haven't finished the campaign. Don't ask me why, but I haven't. But it's done. From from what I've heard and what I've read, the the campaign there's there's no more story left. So they can either make up some bullshit to continue the story. They could go with oh well you know Makarov had this um wait who yeah it's Makarov right Matt haven't you finished the yeah. campaign oh I haven't yeah, finished it no. whatever whoever whoever the hell the 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 dude you're chasing I believe it's Makarov uh you know he had like an apprentice and the apprentice takes over where he left off or whatever or they could go with the much-anticipated rumor for the last two years, Futuristic Warfare. Now, I mean, we already have Halo, and we already have Ghost Recon, Future Soldier coming out, which is kind of futuristic. But Halo is, like, the most futuristic as of now in terms of first-person shooters. You know, you're in, you're in space, you have that, like, low-gravity setting, you have all these other... Yeah. You have all these other aspects, like your, your floating vehicles... Uh, your jetpacks and all that stuff, and I think something like that could really have a heavy influence on the, on the Call of Duty franchise. Being able to, you know, maybe have um, turn it turn it more into like like a like a old Battlefield esque meets um, Battle uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two. Uh, they had like like space maps and you could fly around, uh, but I don't think it's so much as we don't we don't want this to turn into Battlefield because. 
Battlefield is, is its own thing. And yeah. one of the things, like, for instance, with World at War, one of the big turnoffs I had with World at War was I didn't like the, the tanks. I, I mean, if I if, if I wanted to if I wanted to be killed by a tank, I would go back to Battlefield uh, Battlefield Two back yeah. back around then. I remember playing Battlefield Two. That game was awesome. And I, I don't have Battlefield Three, but if, if I wanted to drive around in a jet or a chopper, a jeep, a Humvee, a sand buggy, whatever, I would, I would I would go play that game. So you know, Call of Duty is our like fast paced um, first person shooter. That's gu- that's gun on gun, and th- that's the other thing too. Is with Modern Warfare Three, they promised us all this gun on gun, and we didn't really get it. We, you know, we were getting killed by kill streaks. Uh, a lot of the maps were campy, and that's something I really liked about uh, the original Black Ops was the maps. The maps weren't campy, and the maps that were campy, I mean, you you could always counter campers. I mean, if if they wanted to roll ghost, they had to you know give up lightweight scavenger, etc. But if you got to that point where you got like a blackbird, you could always kill them regardless of what their first perk was. And that's something that kind of faulted with Modern Warfare 3 was that you could camp and just camp. They're like if you had Blind Eye Assassin, Dead Silence, Heartbeat Silencer, nobody could find you unless they either had A, Recon, or B, a Recon Drone. Either of those two. And with a recon drone, if, if you had Blind Eye on, they, they could still tag you, but they had to sit there for 10 minutes and actually try to find you. So, what do you think, Matt? Like, do you think that that this is the this is the end of of the the Infinity Ward slash Sledgehammer Call of Duty franchise, or do you think that they're going to be pulling into like a futuristic direction, or do you think they're going to be backtracking to like an old COD Four style? Honestly, I really hope it's the end because Modern Warfare Three just blew ass. Like, honestly. No, I mean, I mean. Like I said, it's 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 rumored and it's most likely true that there's not going to be another Modern Warfare, which is good because this yeah. is this is the third one and it hasn't gotten any better since COD Four. And COD Four, like I said, was was awesome. Yeah, yeah, but, I agree. I mean, since since they just brought in Sledgehammer and Raven with Infinity Ward, this may be Infinity Ward's last Call of Duty and Sledgehammer slash Raven Software, Raven Soft, whoever they are, may be taking over, but. That like that being said, what what direction do you think they're going to go in after seeing the the type of of impact that Modern Warfare Three made on its community? Um, I could see something like Crisis coming in. You think so? Yeah, I I would I would imagine so. Now but I, I mean, never played Crisis, but uh, you played Crisis too, and and yeah. like that game. In order to get you, there was kill streaks in that game, wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Now, in order to get your kill streaks, you literally had to go. It was like it was kind of like kill confirmed, but in in order to actually get the kill streak, you had to go and get the dog tags, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like, so like, if you if you compare that to like Modern Warfare Three, where if you're you know we'll compare that to playing kill confirmed, you can easily pull like a hundred kill game and kill confirmed and not confirm a single tag. I've seen I've seen oh, yeah. videos of a team giving three mobs in one game, racking up two hundred and fifty kills, and there were only you know sixty five tags in a six v six. But I mean, I think I think what they need to do is is emphasize more objective play into the game and and have people and give people a reason to move. I mean, you're you're always going to have the the game types like T, uh, TDM and free for all that th- the only objective is to kill people, so that kind of influences people to camp in the first place. Yeah. But I mean, that's something that I, I'm hoping that they're going to try and fix in, in Black Ops 2 is because they're upping the amount of points you get for playing the objective. It's going to hopefully kind of weed out some of the some of the players that let that's like okay, well before if I went and and you know played the objective, I would only get one point. Well now you know playing the objective earns me what I would get for two kills. But I don't. They did single player wise. They did a they they did a good job. I've never heard anyone complain about the single player. There were and the multiplayer has and still has a lot of potential, but they just haven't fixed things yet. There's been there's been too many weapon balance issues, and I think that's one of the big things. That camping and the actual kill streaks within the game is, for instance, Matt and. I know you, you, I mean, everyone's bitched about this, is the Type 95. Everyone knows that the Type 95, when this game came out, was retardedly overpowered. Same with the dual FMGs, and the dual FMGs are are still overpowered. Oh, yeah. Um, The the shotguns, all the shotguns except for the Striker, were terrible. Now, 
I mean, people, there's still inconsistencies. The, the lag compensation just screwed people over. Like, I don't... Ruining the game for everyone, or for almost everyone, to make the people... To make people play better because, A, you know, they can't afford good internet mm -hmm. or they have problems with their internet or what have you, depending on your region. All this lag compensation crap could be solved if they were willing to spend the money to buy dedicated servers. And this is one of the things that people have always wondered about. Why don't they get dedicated servers? I read a thing a while back saying that it would it would cost them more to put out dedicated servers than they would make in a, in a game release. Which, I don't, I don't see how, for instance... Modern Warfare 3 sold out Battlefield Bad Company. Uh, Battlefield 3, rather. Yeah. But Battlefield 3 has dedicated servers. Gotham City Imposters is rumored to be getting dedicated servers, and that game has less than a million people playing. Yeah, Crisis 2 has dedicated servers, too. And not a lot of people play Crisis 2, either. So, yeah, would... the excuse of them not... And, and, and the excuse was as far as, well, they would have to put more servers in, in major cities than Blizzard does. I haven't really looked into into how Blizzard does their servers, but I, I'm, I'm assuming that, that they have multiple server hubs. They don't have one in every city. So, I mean, if you were to put, say, um, a, a server hub into, like, uh, like the West Coast, the East Coast, um, like Central West, Central East, and then, you know, put, put them and pinpoint them in, like, parts of Europe and Russia and stuff, that would that would not cost you more than... than a game release, and then in turn, people would be like, oh, you know, things like lag don't exist in this game, even though I live on the West Coast, I'm playing someone in, in the East Coast, you know, we still have, we still both have a four bar. Right now, if, if you, if you group up with someone that's in, like, the West Coast or Central and you're East Coast, you're going to get thrown into a game and you're going to be a three bar, you're going to get most likely shit on. Mm. yeah. But... No one really knows at this point what their next move is. I'm hoping that they actually sit down, make a spreadsheet or something, and think, pinpoint, map out everything that, that they're going to be doing, and actually bring something to the franchise that's going to make it better. As of now, everyone is turning to Treyarch as the, as the best developer. Because like I stated earlier, they listen to their community. They, you know, they, they have weapon balance. They have map balance. You know, kill streaks aren't completely overpowered. I mean, in Black Ops, dogs were annoying. You could kill them. Uh, gunship, you could easily kill it. Same with Chopper Gunner. If you played, like, Nuketown, second uh, a Chopper Gunner went up, that, that thing was out of the sky before it gave the bullet off half the time. Oh, yeah. And then, like, Blackbird. People bitched about the Blackbird being OP, but it, it, it's something that is needed because people can't. And it's also something that's nice for, uh, like, the smaller maps and the bigger maps as well, like, like Nuketown. A Blackbird on Nuketown is, is, is fucking awesome. But again, you know, we'll just have to see exactly what, what you know, what they're going to be doing. Like I said, they have to sit down and actually think, map out what is going to revive their portion of the Call of Duty franchise. If there's even going to be another Call of Duty, hell, for all we know, they could be reworking on a new first-person shooter franchise. You know, only only time will really tell at this point. Yeah, so, Matt, do you have anything to add? Um, like, a new first-person shooter would be nice, because I feel like the Call of Duty franchise is getting a little stale. Well, I mean, from uh, Respawn, who are uh, who's filled with people from the old Infinity War team when they left uh, after Modern Warfare 2, um, they're they're apparently being backed by EA and making a new um, a new a new game a new first person shooter. So I mean, and they have they have the they have the power to actually completely decimate the the current the current COD franchise because of how bad it's ended up. And I'm 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 saying bad in in terms of like the Infinity Ward. Um, Sledgehammer side, not the Treyarch side, because Treyarch actually knows their shit, like I've stated numerous times in this. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Um, so if you guys have any any questions, any comments, if you have your own opinion on, on what uh, the Mono Warfare 3 team, a.k.a. Infinity Ward slash uh, Sledgehammer slash Raven, is going to be doing next, whether it's backtracking, new first-person shooter you know, like a futuristic Call of Duty, etc. Let us know in the comments. I'm Patty. My boy Matt. Say bye, Matt. Later, guys. Shut up. And I uh, hope you enjoyed again. If you missed that Black Ops video, explaining all the Black Ops crap, again, it's going to be up in the annotation above on the top of the video. And I'll most likely throw it down in the description if I remember. Take it easy, guys. Peace.